In the last episode, I did some brainstorming with friends to find a way to make the boat shrink to fit on a trailer. I also completed the mechanical design. In this episode, I learned to weld aluminium and buy a new welder. Construction begins on the brackets to widen the boat. The new construction on the boat is made of aluminium and requires a considerable amount of welding. My small DC TIG is incapable of welding aluminium, so I need to buy a bigger AC TIG to do the job. Alternatively, I could have bought a MIG welder. TIG welders can run in DC mode, which is great for welding steel, where 70% of the heat is going into the job and 30% into your handpiece. When welding aluminium, you need to run some reverse polarity, and that current flowing in the opposite direction strips the oxide layer off the aluminium. But unfortunately now you have 70% of the heat going into your handpiece and 30% into your job. To improve this, AC welders have been invented and they basically run current in one direction and then the other. And so you can easily achieve 50% of the heat going into your job and 50% into your handpiece. I needed to buy a new affordable AC TIG for the job. And I started looking online, um, and there were a number of cheap purchases, but I got concerned if there was a problem or a fault, I would have no support. So in the end, I ended up buying an inexpensive machine locally, just for peace of mind. I started by practicing welding beads on the surface, but I was having terrible trouble getting the arc to start. I could only get it to work if I touched the tungsten against the work. In the end, I went to my friend Simon's and he gave me a lesson and I wasn't actually too bad for a beginner. So it turned out that the problem wasn't me, it was actually the welder that was faulty. And so fortunately, by buying something locally, I was able to take it back to the shop and they repaired it within a half an hour and I was able to weld again. The cross braces to support the beams are cut from extruded aluminium using a bandsaw. The individual pieces are shaped to match the contours of the original hulls. I think I might wear a different pair of jeans next time. Each piece is welded together to make a complete sub-assembly. To fit the cross braces onto the hulls, I had to cut away some of the original structure. The cross braces are a snug fit and eventually will be bolted and screwed to the hulls. A great step forward on the boat today. Um, I finished welding the first stage of the cross braces. Um, the heat was truly intense. I had to double glove just to stop burning my hands. But um, next stage coming up is building the brackets to attach the beams. See you next time.